Welcome all. This is the lecture number 7 of this tutorial series. In this lecture we are going to deal with a example number 1. So this example says that with the help of a Routh Hurwitz criteria comment upon the stability of the system having the following characteristic equation. So the characteristic equation is given as 10 s to the power 4 plus 9 s cube plus 3 s square plus 6 s plus 9 equals to 0. This is the characteristic equation that is given into our question and we need to first form the Routh array. Firstly form Routh array then we need to check the system is stable or not stable or unstable or marginally stable so these are the two tasks that we need to perform so moving to the solution part first of all we need to separate out the even and odd terms coefficient of this characteristic equation so the even coefficients are then then 3 then 9 and odd coefficient are 9 then 6 then remaining is not there so we will take 0 only then we need to form a route array here we will take a route array inside it we will write all the power of s in the decreasing order so first of all s to the power 4 is there so we will write s to the power 4 after that s to the power 3 is there so s to the power 3 then s to the power 2 s to the power 2 then s to the power 1 s to the power 1 then nothing is there so we will consider it as s to the power 0 s to the power 0 after that we will fill all the coefficient of the even power of s because this expression is starting from the even power of s so we will write 10 then 3 then 9 after that here is the odd power of s that is s cube so we will write all these three terms 9 6 and 0 then we have to do the cross multiplication as we do in the earlier lecture series we have to do the cross multiplication and after that we will solve the following expression so the cross multiplication will be performed in this fashion bottom to top then bottom to top so first of all 9 will be multiplied with 3 so 9 into 3 subtraction then 6 will be multiplied with 10 6 into 10 the whole term will be divided with this bottom element that is 9 after solving this expression we will get minus 3.67 after this we will take this column and this column so 9 will be multiplied with this and 0 will be multiplied with 10 so 9 will be multiplied with 9 subtraction 0 will be multiplied with 10 whole will result will be divided by 9 only so we will get 9 so let's enter these terms 3.679 and here uh, 
no other column is remaining so we will simply write 0 only moving to the next part we will take these two element 9 and minus 3.67 after that we will multiply it with the next column that is 6 and 9 so 3.67 will be multiplied with this so minus 3.67 into 9 into 3.67 into 6 minus 9 into 9 the whole term will be divided by minus 3.67 so we will get 28.07 28.07 we will write here after this we will take these two elements and these column so minus 3.67 will be multiplied with 0 so we will get 0 after this 0 will be multiplied with 9 we will again get 0 so the output will be 0 only and since there are no remaining terms so we will also write 0 here moving on to the next part 28.07 will be multiplied with 9 and 0 will be multiplied with minus 3.67 so 28.07 will be multiplied with 9 minus 0 divided by 28.07 so we will get 9 only after this 28.07 multiplied with the 0 and 0 will be multiplied with minus 3.67 so we will get 0 only and since the remaining terms are not there so we will again fill 0 then we need to check the stability moving on to the second part whether the system given to us is stable or not so checking the stability we have to notice that how many sign changes are there since 10 is positive 9 is positive so there is no sign change after this 9 is positive and minus 3.67 is negative number so one sign change is there minus 3.67 is a negative number and 28.07 is a positive number so one sign change is also there 28.07 and 9 both are positive so no sign change so total number of sign change is total sign change equals 2 so we can say that 2 roots lies in RHS of S plane and it shows that our system is unstable So overall result of this question is our system is unstable. So we have successfully find out that uh, our system is unstable. Thank you.